Once a week, I'm going to challenge you with a small and simple task. These tasks should take no more than 10 to 15 minutes. And the goal of these challenges is to help you learn not only Godot, but also problem solving. You can access the challenges in real time before I release the solution a week before in my Patreon. Link is down below. All right, welcome everyone to the platform uh, spawning solution. Um, this problem is relatively simple, but we'll go through the um, pro thought process of how to do something like this and how what the point of this challenge was. Um, so the point of this challenge was two things. First, we're going to start with a platform scene. So here we have a floor with a panel as the quote unquote floor, and then a collision shape. Um, so let me actually take these and uh, yeah, no, we're not going to worry about it. Um, what we want to do, the point of this is so that we right click this and we go to save branches scene. And what this does is it saves this as a separate scene. So now on the bottom left, we see that I have this platform scene that I can open up and start editing and playing around with. So now if I edit this inside of here, um, let me reset the, uh, not the size, the position to zero, zero there. And then I'm gonna take this over here. Now I have a platform in a separate scene and I also have it here. Now the advantage to this is if I delete this floor and I go into my code here, uh, let's see what is in here actually. Let's go into our script here. All right, so here's our script. We have nothing in here. So what we can do is we can load it. So we can say on ready variable platform uh, scene. And then we can say preload, oops, not the script that. Uh, we'll preload the platform. And what this does is essentially give us access to this platform through code. And now in our ready function, we can simply say variable platform temp, for example, is equal to the platform scene dot instantiate. Now what this does is essentially take the access and create an object. We're going to create this object, this platform, and now I want to add it to my scene. And I can say that by saying add child, and then we're going to add the platform scene. Now you can see if I run this, I'm going to get an error and it's saying I need to add the temp, not the scene. What am I doing? That's why. There we go, there's our platform. Now the cool thing about this is that I can adjust variables and things from our uh, platform temp. Like for example, I can change the X position and say uh, 100 and I can do the same thing for the Y and do 100. And this will now change the position to 100, 100 um, dot X. I gotta say dot position dot X dot used to a different language. Uh, here we go. All right, let's try that. Awesome. Now you can see the position of that platform has changed. Now, another cool thing to automatically have these platforms spawn is we can add a timer. Now, this is something that might be used in an infinite runner uh, game or something like that, right? So we might have a timer. And what we can do here is we can put on auto start, go to node, timeout, and go to world connect it, we'll go to our script. And in here, we can simply move this code over here. And then if we delete this code, we can now actually randomize the position. So we can say Randy range between zero and let's say 300. And then we can do the same thing for our dy. And if we just play every second, we'll have a platform spawn in a random position. So this is how we create random spawning. Obviously, you can be more flexible with this and only randomize the Y or something, depending on what kind of game you have, right? So um, you can kind of be creative on this and do whatever you'd like. But this is how we generally create platforms and spawn them into a game. All right, I will hopefully see you guys next week.